Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Frederick Kozak from Appia Energy. How are you today, Frederick? I'm very well, Tracy. Thanks for having us on and thanks for doing this interview. Well, Frederick, you are one of the most exciting rare earths and uranium and uh, gallium plays to be watching in the entire market presently. What would you attribute that to? Would that be in part your appointment to president? <laughs> well, uh, uh, no. The short answer is uh, the excitement around Appia came before I did, but we've certainly been able to continue that. As you know, Appia has been exploring in the Alsace Lake of uh, Saskatchewan for rare earth elements for about four years now. And as noted industry expert Jack Lifton will tell you, uh, the Appia deposit looks like one of the best in the world. So I think that is part and parcel uh, some of the reason why uh, there is so much industry interest in our story. And then, of course, the other part is the geopolitical aspect of it. Well, I, I must be honest. The reason I got so excited about Appia Energy when it first was drawn to my attention was Constantine Kiranopoulos had told me that you had some of the best monazite for extracting rare earths in North America. So let's start with some of your most recent news. Uh, you just started your summer exploration program on rare earths and your uranium projects. Would you like to give us some of those highlights? Sure. Um, so this summer on Alsace Lake is going to be very significant for us. We are embarking on a drilling program that is going to be probably 5,000 plus meters of diamond drill core. And for those of uh, your viewers who are, are not fully up to speed, we've only drilled just under 5,000 meters of drill core in the Alsace Lake area. So it's a very important year for us drilling on uh, the WRCB zone, which is our first zone of uh, significance, as well as exploring and delineating some of the other zones that we've got on the Alsace Lake property. Uh, the crews in the field, they've started their field geophysics. Drill crews will show up next month. And um, it's going to be a very exciting summer for us. Of course, some people out there may or may not be aware that in your previous incarnation, Frederick, you were a top award-winning North American analyst for many years. So I'm going to put you on the spot here. Appia has recently done a closing of 5.75 million bought deal financing, including the full exercise of the over allotment option. Do you mind talking to us a little bit about this financing and provide some highlights for us? Sure. Well, uh, as you probably know, this is the first time that Appia has done a brokered financing. Um, all of the financings, including the ones done at the end of last year, were non-brokered, flow-through and non-flow-through equity. So those are, uh, there's always interest, uh, especially in the resource space uh, for flow-through financings, because Obviously, the flow-through tax benefits go to your go to the investors, but to do an actual bot deal for our first brokered transaction was pretty significant in my mind. Um, it is recognition by the capital markets of Appia and the Appia story. And as you might recall, we started out with a four million dollar bot deal. It was upsized, and then it was fully. Uh, they, they executed the full green shoe, the extra 15% to give us 5.75 million. So the market was very, very supportive of our equity offering. And that was a mere, you know, uh, today's the 17th of June. That was just a month ago. And, you know, in the last week or so, equity holders in that financing are looking at a great return on their investment so far. So let me ask you, what are you planning on doing with this? Uh, I, I noticed as well, you appointed Jack Lifton, who is, of course, a well-known investor intel expert that we lean on for critical materials advice, has joined your advisory board. Would you mind touching on how you plan on utilizing those funds and as well speak to us about Jack Lifton's appointment? Thank you. Certainly. Well, uh, two things to note. First of all, at the end of April this year, we set, we were sitting on about $6 million of cash. So this is before we did the financing. Our summer program is estimated to be in the four and a half to $5 million. So we were already financed to do our summer drilling program. Now, 
That having been said, we have done a few things up at Elsa's Lake, including we, are, we have installed a new all weather, all season campsite. So big tents um, that you could, you could use through the winter, which means that we are now able, uh, weather notwithstanding, we are now able to work out of the campsite through the winter season, uh, whatever that looks like for our program. So keeping that in mind, um, the new equity can be used for drilling beyond what we had planned this summer, or for that matter, if we have some better, uh, better results or really good results and we want to drill much, much more than we had planned, more than the 5,000 plus meters this summer, we are now financed for that. Um, to your question on Jack Lifton, uh, Jack is a phenomenal wealth of knowledge and information, and I've had the I've had the the good luck to have done some work with him in the past as well. And we we acknowledge uh, that he is. If you're going to have a strategic advisor on your board of directors in the rare earth space, certainly Jack Lifton is the man to have, and we're very pleased to have him on board. I can't I can't tell you how thrilled I am that Jack consented to join us. Of course, it's no secret that we're fans here of Appia Energy. So what should we be looking forward to? I mean, you've just given us a lot of highlights. So this may be a redundant question, but Frederick, I figure if anyone can handle this question, you can. What should we anticipate in this upcoming quarter or two? All right. Well, um, the quarter going into the third quarter, starting in on July 1st, um, fully expect to do some really, really good drilling through the summer. And drilling results will be released as necessary. Um, it, it's unlikely, well, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be releasing uh, drill results on a whole by whole basis, that's just crazy. But as we gather our results and compile them and incorporate them into our model of the Alsace Lake deposit, as necessary, we will be releasing those results as well. We'll have a full summary of the drilling results once the initial summer program is over. So that's, I mean, that is really the big, the big uh, part of what uh, of what our investors can look forward to over the next couple of quarters. Uh, the results are be also uh, the drilling results are also going to be incorporated with the uh, the ground uh, geophysics that we're currently doing. We're going to be flying some aerial uh, geophysics as well over Alsace Lake. And you also mentioned our uranium properties in Athabasca. It, we should also note that we have uh, some aerial geophysics planned for that as well. So there, you know, uh, there is going to be a bunch of news coming forward on both fronts, but obviously, you know, there is a big and in, big interest in the Alsace Lake uh, deposit because, you know, it may or may not be one of the best in the world to be determined. Well, we're certainly looking forward to, forward to these results. And Frederick, as always, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you again to Investor Intel for your support.